First of all, Wayne, just what makes Stanford so tough and why are they being so successful this season? A uh, really intelligent team. They run good stuff. Um, you know, they're, they're a very pesky team on both ends as far as their discipline to, to do what they're supposed to do. Um, and, and they just they, they play hard and they play together. And I think, uh, you know, going into the year, they developed a, a real chip. Um, you know, and have had some success. Now, they're, they're a little bit of a wounded animal, haven't dropped a couple. Um, but I tell you, they, they're a really good team, and they're especially good at home, so it's going to be a challenge for sure. But, you know, we're wounded too, and uh, we should have a little bit more. Uh, what we need to do is pull together, have a heightened sense of urgency, and really continue to have each other's backs. Basketball is a team game, and obviously you're looking for everybody to do their part, but especially right now with where you're at, how important is that? It's huge, Jesse. I mean, uh, we're going through our little stretch of adversity. Most teams have a stretch during the season, um, and, and yet we're in a position where uh, we can't look past you know today, but if we can continue to pull together, stay together, stay positive, we, we've proven we can compete with and beat the best. Um, and that's what we keep saying to our guys. Um, it's not time to pull apart, to place blame. It's time to pull together. And each guy individually has to really hold themselves accountable, um, you know, for doing the things that we're, we've worked on from, from day one, um, you know, for 40 minutes. And you've talked a little bit about guys maybe trying to do too much, specifically on offense. Is that a hurdle right now? You know, I, I, to be honest, if you, if you try to put your finger on it, I, I think – you know that maybe some guys are putting too much pressure to be perfect and offensively it's caused us to struggle a little bit and then i think defensively it's taken us out of our game plan and uh, i mean you guys saw the usc game we we that was as bad as we've been defensively and it was like we didn't know what we were supposed to do and we, we were very simple going into that game plan and so we've we've got to get our guys to to relax um, to, to really trust what we're supposed to be doing. And, and you do that by being engaged and locked in, and that's, that's what we're challenging the guys to do. So with that, what are you working on specifically this week? Uh, just what we talked about. We, we've got to be more engaged to the game plan, our defensive philosophy, um, offensively what we need to do. Let's run it crisply. Um, we're, we're, we're sticking to the basics. I mean, we, we've got to play harder defensively, be more engaged to the plan every possession, knowing that there will be some breakdowns. And then when there are occasionally some breakdowns, the way we respond to it. And, you know, our guys are reeling a little bit. Their confidence is a little bit shaken. But you can't now let that turn into multiple possessions where you're having breakdowns because you're losing a little concentration and confidence. Kobe Bryant, that whole situation, um, obviously, it's a heart-wrenching. Uh, Sunday was a really tough day in my house. Um, we were supposed to be celebrating my birthday. Um, obviously, uh, the, you know, the, the impact from the USC game, but then you wake up and you see that, that news. Um, it's just a tough, tough deal, man. And I was so thankful to have my family with me on that day. But, uh, you know, whenever you lose any, anybody but somebody – Obviously, with that status that you've seen make such a difference in the community. And then my heart goes out to you know, all those young kids that were uh, involved, just the loss of life and, and, and the futures. You know, they could have had incredible futures to have that taken away at such an early stage. Just a, a real tragedy. And, and it really hit my family just because we're a basketball family. Um, you know, seeing those pictures of Kobe and his daughter at the games um, was, was really hard to to swallow as well as the other families seeing all those photos go around was a tough tough deal very emotional day and you know we mentioned it to the team yesterday and we always talk about it I guess all you can do is try to use those experiences to help your group learn and grow you know about we talk about it don't don't ever take anything for granted whenever you give anything your effort you got to give it your your a effort um, and never have any regrets because you just never know your daughters play in college basketball, women's basketball. Kobe was becoming a huge fan. Huge ambassador, yeah. He, he was doing so much to grow the women's game, um, you know, at every level. He, from the AAU level, grassroots, uh, you know, to college and, and to the WNBA and beyond. Uh, I've heard great stories. I know some people that have gone down and done documentaries at some of his academies. Uh, and, and it's all sincere, heartfelt, uh, not just with his time, in his experience, but with his money uh, to really get things going as far as 
um, women's basketball again at all levels. So um, I think that's probably what my daughters took the hardest is they saw that effort. They know the importance of it, um, you know, and, and, and that, that, that was uh, really a, a tough thing for them to see and go through. Wayne, how much does it help to have vets um, like you do, to, to, especially just to help your young guys going through what you guys It's are? crucial. It's crucial. Uh, I know yesterday we had uh, a really good film session and, and very emotional meeting. Um, we had a very, very intense practice. Uh, that's what keeps me going. I mean, obviously the passion we have as a staff, but the, the guys from time to time need to really inspire us, especially in times like this. And um, we, we had a great day yesterday. Now we need to put another one um, together to back it up. And, and I credit the staff and, and our veterans, like you mentioned. Um, some guys having to put their arms around them. Other guys, you know, maybe having to, you know, kick them in the butt a little bit in a positive way. But hey, we still got everything in front of us. But our guys showed great leadership yesterday, and we need to back it up with another good day today. Thanks, coach. All right, thanks, guys. We'll be.